Hi everybody, it's Lucretia here. How are you going? This is my third attempt to do a live this morning. I've had some technical issues and I had someone do a delivery and bash on my front door and anyway, that's all done. Clearly now is the right time to do this video. So hello wherever you are, it's good to see you. Today I want to focus on empaths and their energetic boundaries and why it's so important that they have boundaries at all. Now, first of all, what is an empath anyway? Now, people will often self-describe themselves as an empath if they feel the emotions of other people really strongly. So by that, I mean if they are in crowded areas like supermarkets, shopping centers, busy workplaces, parties, etc. They might find all of that energy of the people around them to be quite overwhelming. If they're working closely with someone and that person is feeling or just close to someone full stop and that person is feeling sad, angry, anxious, resentful, or whatever, depressed, <laughs> whatever emotion, or emotions that person is experiencing an empath will often very frequently pick up and be able to feel that emotion themselves now an empaths often there will usually their natural desire is to help and to heal others because they can really literally feel how other people are feeling and no one likes to know that someone else is in pain or suffering in some way. So their natural inclination is to try to help and you know, help that person get through that process, heal them in some way, help them to move through it and, and on to the next thing. Now this is really admirable and a really beautiful part of being an empath. It's you know one of their amazing gifts is to be able to do that. But the problems arise when you are really strongly energetically sensitive to the emotions of other people and you don't have good energetic boundaries. Now when you don't have good energetic boundaries, you not only can feel what other people are feeling all the time, it might feel like you feel it all the time, if you're in a supermarket a shopping center you might feel like you're being bombarded because you can just feel it from everywhere and that is exhausting in fact I know a lot of empaths because that's their experience and it can be quite traumatizing and overwhelming their response eventually and inevitably is to isolate themselves quite frequently because they feel like they can't cope with that because it's, <laughs> it's really difficult sometimes to cope with that kind of bombardment. But the problem is that most of you aren't actually meant to live in isolation. You're not meant to hide yourselves away because you're here on this planet to do some amazing stuff and most of the time you can't do that in isolation from other people. So an empath is on like this double-edged sword, right? They're highly attuned to what's going on for other people and they really want to help them. But sometimes the cost just seems too high because in the process they just get pushed around by other people's energy and it's exhausting and it's tiring. And here's the thing, if they don't have good energetic boundaries, not only can it be exhausting and tiring at the time, if they don't understand how to have the boundary in the first place and then secondly how to clear off other people's stuff clear it off them energetically and out of them energetically that can actually make them quite unwell in the short and in the medium and in the longer term because they're actually taking on other people's stuff and then it's sitting within them physically and energetically and you're not built for that so you can understand how it's quite challenging. So this is why it's really important that if you are an empath, first of all, know that there are lots of you out there 
<laughs> lots and lots of people who describe themselves as empaths out there. Second of all, you have an amazing, amazing gift in being able to do that. And as a result of that, being able to help other people. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. But like all energetic gifts, it's really important that you know how to manage it in the best way possible for you so that it is something that you can sustain so that you can go out there and do what it is that you are called to do on the planet, your soul's mission, and so that you can live a healthy life energetically, emotionally, physically. So, and mentally. So it's really important that you learn how to establish good energetic boundaries. And this is the kind of thing that I teach when I work with clients, because this is something that's really common and we're not taught generally how to do it. So it's really important that you have good energetic boundaries. And it's super, super important that you learn how to clear off the energy of other people from inside you energetically and from around you energetically as a regular practice. Because when you can do that, your ability to help other people is expanded and exponentially. Because not only can you still tune in to what's going on for them, but you can still remain energetically separate enough that you can assist them in the best way possible and then be able to clear yourself afterwards, not feel so exhausted, not feel so tired all the time. And then you can move on to the next part of your life and feel good and better within yourself. So that's why it's really important. So I guess the bottom line for me for today's video is to let you know, if you're an empath, you have an amazing gift, but you need to learn how to manage it. If you're already doing that, that is fantastic. If you don't yet know how, then get in touch with me because I can help you with that. And over the coming videos, I might actually give you a few tips. And thirdly, know that you don't need to isolate yourself. That you can live more effectively in the mainstream world and really get out there and do what your soul is calling you to do. So I hope today's video has been helpful and until next time, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you are learning how to trust yourself more and more every day and I can't wait to see what you do next. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.